SpaceX's new Raptor engines are the real deal. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Success Tank. Raptor is a series of full-flow stage combustion cycle rocket engines designed and produced by SpaceX for use on the Starship completely reusable launch vehicle, which is currently under development. Rather than the RP-1 kerosene and LOX used in SpaceX's previous Merlin and Kestrel rocket engines, the engine is fueled by cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen, LOX. The Raptor engine has double the thrust of SpaceX's existing Merlin engine. So let's see why SpaceX's new Raptor engines are the real deal. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. 5. Cryogenic Propellants Raptor will be used in both stages of the Starship System's two-stage-to-orbit Super Heavy Lift launch vehicle, which will replace Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The Starship will be utilized for a variety of purposes, including satellite delivery to Earth orbit, the deployment of a major section of SpaceX's deep cryogenic propellants, fluids chilled to near freezing points, are used in the Raptor engine, which is characteristic of cryogenic rocket engines. Subcooled propellants enhance propellant density, resulting in improved engine performance and the ability to store more propellant in the vehicle's tanks. Because of the larger mass flow rate per unit power generated, Specific impulse is enhanced and the danger of cavitation at turbo pump inputs is decreased, own Starlink mega constellation, and the exploration and settlement of Mars. 4. Design size and engine liquids. The Raptor engine runs on subcooled liquid methane and subcooled liquid oxygen in a full flow staged combustion cycle, as opposed to the Merlin engine's existing open cycle gas generator system and the LOX slash kerosene propellants. The RS-25 space shuttle engine, as well as other Russian rocket engines such as the RD-180 and the RD-191 employed a staged combustion cycle. As thorough design for the Raptor engine progressed from 2012 to 2017, the claimed design size ranged from a high of 8200 kN lbf of vacuum thrust to a significantly lower objective of 1900 kN, 430,000 lbf. The operational engine is anticipated to have a vacuum ISP of 382 seconds, 3,750 meters per second, and a sea level ISP of 334 seconds, 3,280 meters per second in its 2017 version. Dual redundant spark plug fired torch igniters manage engine ignition for all Raptor engines, both on the pad and in the air, avoiding the requirement for a separate, consumable igniter fluid, as required on Merlin. Raptor is said to be capable of providing longer life and more benign turbine settings. Raptor uses a full flow staged combustion cycle, in which all of the oxygen powers an oxygen turbo pump with a low fuel ratio and all of the fuel powers a methane turbo pump with a low oxygen ratio. Before entering the combustion chamber, both streams, oxidizer and fuel, will be thoroughly mixed in the gas phase. Only two full-flow staged combustion rocket engines have ever been tested on the test stands before 2014. The Soviet RD-270 project from the 1960s and the Aerojet Rocketdyne Integrated Powerhead Demonstrator from the mid-2000s. 3. The Architecture Other features of the full-flow architecture that are expected to improve performance or reliability include removing the fuel oxidizer turbine interseal, which is a potential reason for failure in more traditional engine designs. Reduced stresses are required through the pumping system, extending the life and further reducing the risk of catastrophic failure. Ability to increase combustion chamber pressure thereby either increasing actual performance or by using cooler gases providing the same performance. Raptor is expected to fly 1,000 times in its lifespan, according to SpaceX. 2. Additional Information Many early Raptor prototype components, including turbopumps and injectors, were created via 3D printing, allowing for faster development and iterative testing. 3D printing was used to make 40% of the parts in the 2016 subscale development engine by mass. 
engine manifolds were cast in 2019 from SpaceX's in-house designed SX300 Inconel super alloy, which will be replaced by SX500 soon. Instead of the pintle injectors used on the earlier Merlin rocket engines that SpaceX mass-produced for their Falcon series of launch vehicles, the Raptor engine employs a huge number of coaxial swirl injectors to admit propellants to the combustion chamber. The engine's marginal cost was said to be reaching $1 million in 2019. SpaceX intends to mass-produce 500 Raptor engines per year at a cost of less than $250,000 per piece. One. Initial design. SpaceX's Max Vozov initially publicly described the Raptor advanced rocket engine design concept, which burns hydrogen and oxygen propellants during the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics Commercial Crew Cargo Symposium in 2009. In April 2011, SpaceX had a small team of people working on the Raptor upper stage engine, which was still an LH2 LOX idea at the time. The development initiative was mentioned again in 2011. According to press reports from March 2012, the Raptor upper stage engine development program was ongoing, but no specifics were made public. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.